It's an absolutely ridiculous movie that pretty much defies all logic, but if you're bored on a Saturday night, it can definitely give you a chuckle and maybe pass the time while giving annoy you at the same time. So that's as fast as anyone's going to tell you. It's an all right movie. I wouldn't necessarily pay for it. This is something maybe you wait for to come to your favorite streaming platform like Hulu or whatever. But paying for it, that's a bit much, given that it's not a great movie, but it ain't terrible either. We're going to talk about why that is, so smack a like on this video for not wasting your point or wasting your time and just getting straight to the point. Now, I think I'm going to start by talking about the acting of the movie, because I think that's the first thing that anyone's going to notice as being a little bit on the cheesier side of things. It kind of gets a little dramatic and over-theatrical in all the worst ways possible. Um, there are just scenes that are just not believable, right? Um... One of the th one of those things that like drew me into that opinion, if you will, is the way that you, this is the only movie I've ever watched where you can be stabbed forty eight times and then literally go do a Boston marathon or you know cartwheels or like pull ups or whatever. The point is they don't die. They never die. They get stabbed a million and one times, and they're holding full conversations, carrying on, smoking and joking, like nothing happened. Like, for example, one of the main characters, uh, Jenna, what was her name? The, Ote the Ortega girl. Her character gets stabbed, like literally in a very vital area where you'd be out for the count, and she's carrying on with the rest of the end scene in the, in the, in the film. And it just doesn't make sense, because even at the end there, she's standing up and she looks totally normal. There's no sign of fatigue. There's no sign of pain. There's no mention of the blood loss that obviously would continue to happen after being stabbed. So it just becomes, like, just ridiculous at that point. It's just, it, it, they don't keep up with horror movie norms, where usually if you get stabbed a bunch of times, you're dead. You know? Uh, you get stabbed a bunch of times here, you live. And you continue to go about your day and nothing happened, right? And if you can get past that aspect, then there are some annoying things where it's just kind of like the way that they portray certain themes and schemes is a little bit 2023. That's what I'll say for social media reasons. We'll leave it there. But I'm pretty sure you can deduce what I mean by that. And it, it's it's annoying, right? It's like, is it is it necessary? Not really. And, and and one of the themes I will dive into that I find annoying is like, for example, the cop, right? He's the main villain of the whole thing. Spoiled, spoiled the whole movie for you. I, I did you a favor, okay? It's very predictable, but it's really annoying, right? The cop's the bad guy. I mean, that's very 2023 of them to do. Um, it would have been nice to just have, like, maybe, like, a normal guy. But, like, no, the cops are the bad guys. I mean, like, listen, like, I'm not, like, some crazy, like, cop enthusiast or anything like that. But, I mean, at this point, can we can we just stop with the, like, cops are bad and we don't need them at all in any capacity? Because I'm pretty sure if somebody kicks in your front door, you're going to call the police. But that movie just kind of goes that route, and that gets annoying for me. So for me, it, it, it gets towards that part of the political spectrum just a little bit. Not terribly, but enough that you notice if you know what current events are like. Um, the other part of the movie that I kind of didn't appreciate is just the general pacing of it feels a little disorganized, right? It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense as to why certain key things are happening. Like, I don't know, it just kind of feels like there, there's too much emphasis on them trying to build a backstory for these girls, but at the same time failing to establish a reason to ever really care about them truly, to the point where you're just kind of bored. At least that, that was my take on it. Now, there are some thrilling moments, obviously. I mean, people are getting hacked and slashed, so there are some moments where your heart can get pounding a little bit. Um, but, you know, you, you, you kind of are watching a, a typical scary movie. Like, it, it's, it's a it's a... Not even, not even scary movie. More so, just it's like a horror flick that's not really horror at all. And that's, I think that's really the truth here. That's what really makes it a boring movie. It's a horror genre, but there's nothing horrific about it that makes you like shudder or makes you jump out of your skin or makes you like really feel that like eeriness about a serial killer around town slashing up a bunch of people. There's never that moment of intensity where you're sitting there in this film and you're like, whoa, oh my gosh, this is really bad. Don't go down that hall. No, like that never happens. Instead, you're just sitting here like, oh. Well, he's going to get you. Yeah, that's very predictable. Up, up, run for your life. Good luck. Up, up, ah, he got you. He got you. How did you not die? That's the whole movie in a nutshell. There really isn't a whole lot more there outside of that. You know, it's, it's cheesy banter here and there. You'll find, like, in the opening scene, a little bit of a cheesy dialogue there. I don't know. It's 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 a 2023 film, a 2023 horror film. They just don't get down like they used to in the old days where you really had a reason to be afraid to turn off your lights at night or watch this movie in a dark room. It's just not going to happen. So hopefully this kind of explains it. Again, it's not a bad movie per se. It's just not one that I would pay full price, you know, go crazy with the tickets and, you know, 
make a whole date out of it, if you will, or a day out of it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. What I would do is watch this like as like a pastime on maybe your favorite streaming service, like I said in the opening, because that probably would be better and you'll get more value that way. If you have questions about the movie, let me know in the comments down below. And if you've seen this movie and you have something that maybe I've missed that you want to add that you feel about this movie, let me know. But for me, I think the big thing is they can get stabbed a billion and one times and they never, ever, ever croak. Like, everybody comes back after being stabbed at the end of the movie, just to spoil that as well. Because, frankly, it, it kind of takes away from the plot, in my opinion. If they, if they were killed off, why did they come back? I'll never know. But if you have that answer, let me know down below. Thanks for watching. The number one brand in honesty. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later.